What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, today we have another stipulation by Super Fritz. The stipulation is uh, play no more than two basic lands. Extra points for any bolus action. Uh, I like Sacred Foundry because I like shock lands and dual lands in the land stipulation because you can get them with uh, with any fetch. But I think Creeping Tarpet is going to be better for uh, everything we want our deck to do. See, and this is nice because none of these cards are super exciting, so we could easily take this Mana Confluence. You should consider coming to Chicago Riot Fest, American Football League. <clears throat> oh, trust me. The uh, the Riot Fest this year, the lineup is utterly insane. This is one of the most insane lineups I've ever seen at Riot Fest. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to look at it right now. I'm going to 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 uh just so I can name off some of the ridiculous acts that I would be a fan of. That's 2018, 2017, 2019. Here we go. Uh, Blink-182. Uh, Jawbreaker, obviously. Block Party. Uh, Rancid. <clears throat> against me. And I, like, I, I scrolled down to, like, the very bottom of the... Of the list, and there's still, like, even down there, there's, like... It, like, the, this, this whole, this whole lineup is insane. Oh, uh, mana. Uh, mind Twist. That's pretty good. I really want this Watery Grave, but we already... Yeah, it's probably just going to take the Mind Twist. Uh, mind Twist. <clears throat> Friday Connect! Uh, we're going to put these guys over here. We're easily going to take this Goblet Shrine. So, Riash, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Um, So, there's been previous stipulations where, like... You want to play, like, all the colors. This one's nice because I'm not forced to take... Oh, boy. Um, well, there's bonus points for Bolas, and I actually love this Bolas. I really want the Badlands because it's actually perfect for Bolas, but we're just going to take the Bolas here. <clears throat> so, that's pretty good. Goalie, what's going on, my man? Stomping Ground? Okay, that seems good. Uh, so does Primeval Titan in this deck, though. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. I think Primeval Titan might be too strong to pass here. Yeah, Primeval Titan fixes our mana, and I feel like we're going to be pretty, uh, <clears throat> pretty, pretty rough on the mana. Let's say. Prime time is basically two lands, so. I spent all of my monies on Thank plastic you. men. What does that mean? Xanthor, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. <clears throat> oh, we got Dashboard Confessional, too. Oh, Windswept Heath? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Oh, the Get Up Kids? Oh, man. Luch Luch Luchero? Oh, my God. Hot Water Music? Wow. This is unbelievable. Cursive's gonna be playing? Oh my god. This has like every band I listened to in my early 20s, and they just put them all into one. They put them all into one festival. I think we're taking Night's Whisper here. <clears throat> oh wow, the tooth and nail came back? Fascinating. I mean, it could just be tooth and nail. Holy smokes. Thank That's you. interesting. Professor Hickman, thank you so much for the re for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. This pack's actually pretty good. I don't know if we want to go all in on Tooth and Nail. I'd rather just take a, a resourceful creature like a Flame Tongue Kavu or an Unbarrel Rights. I'm going to take Unbarrel Rights. I think it's probably strong enough. I do like a Dismember here. <clears throat> I like a Negate, too. Let's go with Negate. Yeah, let's take a Xenagos. Sure. Stirring Wildwood? Deal. Flame Slash? That's playable. Mizzy Mortars? That's playable. What was the last pick? Light of the Stage? These are all playable cards. Mox Emerald? That's playable. We gotta pass a Jace the Mind Sculptor. 
And a Tundra? Oh, man. Hopefully one of these comes back. But I'm going to take the Mox Emerald for sure. Man, that's sad. I also don't like Mox Emerald because it means we can't Nickel Bolas on five if we have it. But... I mean, Mox Emerald means one less basic land, too. So, whatever. <clears throat> um... My internet poops out in the middle of my stack. Are you still good now, though? I think we're taking bribery over lava claw reaches for sure here. Bribery is like, it's like it's like secondary power. Marsh flats. Oh, fractured identity though. Ooh, we got six lands, so we're gonna need a nine more, nine more uh, non basics or lands things. Yeah, we're gonna take fractured identity. It's just too good. It gets rid of any permanent. <clears throat> You can still count on five if you have the five color lands. That's true. Yeah, I meant, I definitely meant four. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Guess we're taking Wooded Foothills here. That's better than most of these cards. Uh, Signets would be great. You know what else would be great? Uh, Shock and Dual Lands. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Payday, aka Force Grixis Reanimator. Oh my god. If you get one of the top reanimate artifacts passed to you, fifth pick or later, and you're already in black or blue, Force Reanimator. That's actually, that's great. That's the way you, the way you worded that, Josh, is just great. I appreciate that. That makes it so, like, it's not super awkward, and I'm not, like, struggling to make sure we have a deck. And, oh, it doesn't work. That's great. I appreciate it. Thank you, Josh. Really appreciate it, buddy. But Devil seems a little high. We're going to take Vraska, I think. Hmm. Do we want another expensive card? Maybe it's just Riffling Cloudskate, actually. Yeah, let's take the Riffling Cloudskate. <clears throat> Thran Dynamo seems good here. Tracker could have been good too. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. I mean, we're at a point where like a lot of these picks are just like kind of. You could you could pretty much take anything, right? It's not like oh we're in red, so I guess we'll take lightning strike, or oh we're in black, so we're definitely taking grave titan. It's more like we're in everything. So what goes best in the everything deck? Maybe Thran Dynamo. I actually do like a Johnny here. Grave Titan's also pretty unbelievable. Yeah, I think we're just taking Grave Titan. Oh, Bloodbraid Elf seems awesome. Yeah, we'll take the Bloodbraid Elf. Needle Spires and Shambling Vent. Two more two more creature lands that come into play tapped, which is not what we're looking for per se, but I will take a red land because we don't have one yet. I think Shambling Vent is better, but I think Needle Spires does more for us. Yeah, I don't like the lands that come into play tapped. All the lands that come into play tapped are pretty rough, but I'm going to take them because they're lands. I do like an Elspeth. Yeah, Elspeth seems better than Hero of Bladehold here. Chandra seems fantastic. Night of Autumn. <clears throat> and the Vraska comes back? Sure. Yeah, if we can get like two Signets, I'd be really happy right now. Consecrated Sphinx. I'm going to take the Rakdos Signet over the Consecrated Sphinx, I think. 
feels bad, but it's very, very good for our deck. Wow, that's that feels real bad. I think it's got to be done. Tefri seems good. Wow, that felt real bad. <laughs> <coughs> Currently, we have nine lands. <coughs> So we're going to play 15. We need six more lands this pack. Which might push me into Razor Verge Thicket. I might die. However, like, I'm also worried about playables. Because we have to get, in this pack, we have to get six lands and five playables. We could play Negate, but then we have to play, then Bloodbraid Elf gets worse. Yeah, I'm going to take the Tefri and I'm just going to assume we get... It's going to feel bad if we don't. <laughs> it's going to feel real rough. Uh, Toxic Deluge actually seems decent here. We're not a... We're mostly a Planeswalker deck. Scarab God could table and that, that would feel good, but... Okay, and then of course the next two packs have had no lands whatsoever. That is unfortunate. We have five creatures, so I don't want to take a, a Scarab God and assume that they're going to have creatures. I'd rather just take a Deluge because we're definitely trying to... <clears throat> play the planeswalkers <clears throat> excuse me I'm pretty sure it's coercive portal here steam vents uh, coalition relic is utterly insane for this deck so is steam vents though we can get it with wooded foothills yeah I think it's coalition relic taiga seems great we'll easily snap off a taiga Easily snap off a Wandering Fumeral. Now we have four creature lands. That's rough. Easily snap off a Temple Garden. None of these cards are great. You don't know how to have fun. <laughs> I'm really trying to figure out, like... So you need 23 cards in your deck, and you need 15... Alright, well, we need 15, like, non-land sources, right? Or, like, land land sources, rather. Which is actually pretty tough. Because that's 38 cards, right? And you only draft... 45... Yeah, so all but seven of your picks would be would have to, you'd have to play. Oh, that's terrible. I'm just gonna take Maze of Ith. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna hit it. I think we're gonna have to have like four basics, which is super sad. But maybe that cancels out because we did get the bolus, and we also have like Razor Verge Thicket stirring. Well, we have a ton of lands that don't actually cast bolus, which makes this real rough. But we also have Coalition Relics. <clears throat> Celestia Signal. Wow, that's a nice Celestia Signal late. Eh, Fatal Push. And Magus of the Moon is the last pick. Yeah, I was worried about us having enough playables. Man. All right. Um, <clears throat> God, we have a lot of green white lands. We have like three of the four green white lands, not including uh, Windswept Heath as well. Which is funny because we also have Nicol Bolas <laughs> and like two double blue spells. I guess this guy comes over here.
Man, this is, yeah, this is definitely some spicy nonsense for sure. I mean, we have a decent amount of card advantage. We have Toxic, or uh, Night's Whisper, we have Teferi, we have, uh, what was the other card? Chandra's kind of like card advantage. Coercive Portal. The Coalition Relic should really help things out, I think. My concern is casting Nicol Bolas, but we're not going to cut it. Um, I think we can definitely cut some of this removal. I like Mizium Orders over Flame Slash because it's just better if you get three red. Uh, I still like Bloodbird Elf even if you hit Mind Twist. Like I think that's, I think that's still fine. Yeah, Chromatic Lantern would be insane. Could maybe cut Fatal Push as well. I think Terminate's probably... Eh. Maybe we can cut the Fatal Push. Thank you. A literal cabbage. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we're just going to have to play all the lands, unfortunately. There's a lot of green sources for not a lot of green cards. Nope. Nope. We have one, two, three, four, five, six black sources and a Rakdos Signet. <clears throat> Green and white, I think, are way fine. Blue, we have one, two, three, three. In red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually cut one of these. Maybe add another black. I don't know if this mana is perfect. I actually, it's, I mean, it's obviously not perfect, but. Whew. All right, this could be rough. This could be rough. If we have mana issues, I'm saying it now. We have no one to blame but ourselves. Like, I think we could have probably taken Taiga over Mox Emerald. I think that was the pick. Um, maybe, like, that's a better option. I don't even know. This hand's actually pretty good. I love it when people who are not the ones who uh, commission this tip are like, that's more than two basics. And the person who commissioned this tip is like, it's fine. <laughs> that's my favorite, dude. Super Fist, glad you're okay with it. Really appreciate it. See, the problem is I also, because we did take like 11 lands, I also did want to make sure we had playables. Because I'm like, okay, well, we only have like 21 playables right now. Yeah, this is definitely some five color nonsense, that's for sure. Actually gonna pass here because maybe we can we can represent mana leak or mana tithe or whatever. Here comes acidic slime. No, oh, Garrick, that's that's pretty good. If we can hit a land, we can play Veraska, but we can't kill a planeswalker because she is not Garrick. And this is not a dread bore, unfortunately. No, we hit a land though. All right, that's a good land too. What's our plan this turn? One, we can actually play Xenagos, kill the beast with Terminate and attack Garrick. Actually doesn't seem terrible. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we have red, black, we'll probably make a red here. Is 
We could play Chandra plus her, play Xenagos, make a guy. What are modern points? I actually don't know yet. I read the article about them, but... Alright, well now they can't draw cards, so that's good. Uptonos, what's going on, my dude? <clears throat> I didn't even realize that was you. <laughs> I see. Let me get a Toxic Deluge. That would be nice. Toxic Deluge one time, please. Come on. Come on. Been a tough couple of months? I hope not. Oh, that's nuts. Hmm. I hope not in any sort of bad way. I hope only like I hope it's only like work related. <clears throat> we are one mana shy. We could fracturing gust this. Fracturing identity this. Get two. Because this actually seems pretty busted right now. God, I really just want that toxic deluge. One. A two. Three. Four. Five. Fracture any of this this sweet daddy. We also have three greens, so we can actually make more oozes. <clears throat> well, that's not terrible. Oh, we don't have yeah, we don't have mana to ooze up take and play Chandra. I also wouldn't want to play Chandra on this board because we just don't... Well, I mean, we have three creatures to their five and then they can kill one of our creatures and then, you know, Chandra probably just dies. What's up, Crutch Jr.? Well, that Nature's Claim is actually pretty scary for our Coalition Relic, which is really holding it all together. A lot of it's work, mumble, grumble, bad code, takes too long to whip into half. Wait, what did they just kill? They just killed a Seder? Sure. Tanos, I'm so sorry to hear about your cat, buddy. Wow. The last card's a dismember. That's super nice. Yeah, as, a, as, a, <clears throat> as a fellow animal lover, I'm uh, quite familiar with the With the perils of animal pet ownership. I mean... Not being able to hit lands here is pretty rough. Um, Chandra plus two. Can't do anything else. If we play this, they're just going to nature's claim it. We could Riftwing Cloudscape and get a Red Beast, but I'm having both these Planeswalkers is pretty brutal. Actually, like any of our plays are super good here. Um, we're easily making a guy. I 
Well, I mean, if we play Portal, they're just going to Nature's Claim it. So I don't think that's really a bold strategy. God. I mean, we could play any of these cards except for the Vraska. I don't think it's Chandra. I don't think it's Portal. Yep, just going to pass here. They're going to search for uh, a crater hoof, and then we're, like, we're just going to die, so. Shot in port. Come on, just search for the... Yep. Make a beast, sack that beast, search for a crater hoof, kill us. I think, I mean, I think there's definitely an argument to be made for hitting Flip Garrick because he does search for Crater Hoof here. So if that's their line, if they have it. Oh, as a content creator, I definitely, I, I have definitely been known to sass uh, some customers, so to speak. Yep, here we go. This took way longer than I assumed it would. Yep, that guy's gone. I would have made a beast first so I have more attackers, but I guess it doesn't matter. It's all academic. Walking Ballista. Four, five, ten. Eleven, twelve. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that's not as bad. And you're drawing a forest. I mean, they're going to kill both these guys, and then they're going to kill Xenagos, so. That's yeah, pretty brutal. And they also have the Nature's Claim for the Coalition Relic. Yep. Two one incoming. Hey, at least it's not Team J, bro. You know, small victories. Yep, everything... That we have predicted has come to pass. Can we just top take a toxic deluge? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can put you can make twelve ma five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 6, 11, 12. You can put three counters on this. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then kill us. Yep, we are dead. Fatal push seems good here. Bribery seems great. I actually kind of like negate here. Probably take out Bloodbraid Elf because we're hitting a high concentration of things that can go wrong. I'll just play 41 because we have two signets and a relic, so. I'm going to keep this hand. <clears throat> it's actually pretty slow, but we're one signet away from something good. Angel does. Actually, L Linvala could have been good. Yeah, that's a good point. That's actually not terrible. 
If we hit a red source next turn, give me a like a taiga next turn. That's basically a taiga. They are as empty as Nicol Bola seems to be. Gonna mind twist your entire hand. That's how you do it. And that'll do. Our <laughs> Magic is a complicated game, guys. And that was not a good game. That was a B game. Mortars, Terminate, Deluge, Light Up the Stage. Let's take out the Light Up the Stage for a Flame Slash. Oh, I like. I do like Linvala. Probably over Elspeth, maybe? Plus she floats, so. Oh yes, oh yes, this Toxic Deluge might actually just save us this game. Well, I mean, if it wasn't, if it wasn't game two, I'd agree with that, but I think like I just don't think that, I don't think it's a matter. I don't think it was a rage scoop, and I also don't think they were hiding their information because we've already played game one. I think it was just a matter of like I can't win this game when I have no cards in hand and you have an active Chandra on board. His hands looking good. Well, that does make Deluge worse, but... Hmm... We could Knight's Whisper here, but then we're just discarding something, which is not ideal. I kind of want to play like that we don't even have the Deluge in hand, because... Have you ever thought about doing a PPR with Loading Ready? I mean, I thought about it, but it has nothing to do with me. Like, they don't... If they don't invite me, I don't get to go. <laughs> so, I mean, me sitting at night, think, sing, sitting in my bed at night thinking about it doesn't mean I'm going to get to go, so... I actually don't hate Mind Twist for two here, but I feel like we can just take their whole hand next turn. I think it's just land pass. Like, we have three plays, right? I don't think they're great. That's pretty good. Wow. Well, this game got away from us. That is unfortunate. Oh, our opponent's also in the chat, so they know exactly the land to hit. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, Why well, say good game if you're going to be in the chat and like know the exact land to hit? That's hilarious.
Good times. Good times. It's always weird when you go to someone's stream when they're cute when you're cubing. Like like that's really the That's the format you need the advantage in. But then they're running these out there, so I don't know what's going on now. I don't know. They get excavator back and they just kill our wasteland. That's pretty it's pretty brutal. I mean, they're going to do it anyway, so might as well, I guess. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't win this game. Like, they have two Planeswalkers. Like, we... Yep, and they're just going to keep getting Wastelands back, so... Yep, not even going to deal with it. Like, it, it, like we're going to have to... We can't play more than one land a turn, and we're not going to be able to kill this guy with what we have in hand. Yeah, so... Alright. Well, that was fun. I'll deal with it. I like that our, our win so far has come from Mind Twist. That was pretty sweet. So I think we windswept. We get Temple Garden. Then we can play Taiga. We have no black sources, though. Oh, we can get Godless Shrine, actually. Yeah, Godless Shrine seems much better. Main phase. Well, Night of Autumn seems good when they have Enlightened Sphere, so. Oh, yeah, Mind Twist is definitely not a reasonable magic card. Coercive portal, that's fascinating. Yeah, Godless Shrine also lets us terminate, which is nice. Godless Shrine is just a really... It's an integral part of our deck. It's an integral part of our strategy. Grim Monolith, what? Do we save Night of Autumn for the Coercive portal? Yeah, that'll do. Deluge. Yeah, I think Portal's a little bit more threatening. So. But 
boom, 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 boom. Fascinating. I'm going to murder that dude immediately. Literal murdered him. Uh, our mana is working out quite well here. The amount of pressure we have is also pretty good. Because it could have Mizzy of Mortars that guy instead. Maybe that would have been better. I don't know. Right, like my like the games I play on Magic Online and on Arena are like the least high stakes ever. So if you ghost against me, like I mean well, I, I guess do what you gotta do, you know? Like I, I I can't I'm not gonna extol the moral virtues of not ghosting on someone because it should be obvious. Bribery. Celestia Signet. But in all seriousness, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty silly. <laughs> So yeah, you can save this for like if they have three dudes and you want to kill them. Um, alternatively, if they play something like a mere battle sphere, though, like I'd rather have the more versatile removal spell that can kill bigger creatures. So, you know, six of one, half dozen of another. We're still in our main phase? This is very interesting. I only go so I can hear the streamer commentate on my shit plays. <laughs> oh man. See it's funny when you when you when you pair ghosting with uh self deprecation, it becomes a lot funnier. Yeah, Baker's doesn't. So six of one, six point five of another. I would like to kill... Actually, we ki I think we kill this right now. And then we kill the portal next turn. That seems good. Yeah, this seems better. Because now we have six mana, so we can play Varaska. Varaska. Thank you. Amesin, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Seven big fans getting kind of windy. Any, I don't know if months is. I don't know if each month is a fan, but I'll take it. Well, that's the thing. All right. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I think they were like, all right, I'm gonna untap this Grim Monolith. Next time I'm gonna act, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Armageddon, and then we killed the Grim Monolith, and they're and they're like, well, I'm locked in. I gotta I gotta do it. I committed to this. I committed to this Grim Monolith Armageddon play. So. So one player has a creature and a signet, the other player has nothing, and then you play Armageddon. And you're not the player with the creature in the signet. Again. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Sometimes you just want to feel something. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Right. Like, that's what I was checking. I'm like, wait, they play land before? No, they just went Armageddon and then passed. And I was like, okay. That is your right to do as a cube drafter, my friend. Who am I to stand in the way of these decisions?
they had a portal in hand. Yeah, like, I, I don't know why they didn't play the portal first. You think they misclicked? Do you think they meant to play the four mana portal and they accidentally played Armageddon instead? Because <laughs> that would be hilarious. Because I feel like if you run the portal out, when I have little pressure, and then you run, and then you run the Armageddon out, that seems good, right? That's a much different game. can't get mana burn if you don't have lands to tap <laughs> oh god okay godless shrine okay these two can't cast it's still close we're two lands off of uh off of nickel bolus on turn one or turn turn one turn five five turn five uh Oh, that's that's a beautiful baby boy. Thank you. <sighs> Goalie with the gifted sub. <laughs> it's funny because Goalie is not a sub, but Goalie's gifted sub. It's funny when people who aren't subs gift subs. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. Thank you so much, Goalie. Grim Monolith. Never don't have that. He laughed at my unfunny joke. I don't think that's unfunny. I think that's a fa I don't think that's even a joke. That's factual. We don't cube to win. We cube to scare and confuse opponents. That just sounds like a true statement. Signet. Eh, Knight's Whisper. I actually like I actually like Knight's Whisper here. We can go Godless Shrine into Mox. And that way we don't have to discard. That seems good. Now we can play Taiga, and then we're still on track for the uh, the Nicol Bolas. I kind of want to get this down, though, because, well, both of these are coming to play tapped, I guess. Yeah, some people just need to feel something. That was, that was solid, Mike. That was solid. Thank you. Goalie with another gifted sub. You are awesome, buddy. <laughs> Got any more of them subs? Yeah, here you go. Nailed it. All right, well. Oh, boy, that's a problem. Unless we draw a Knight of, Knight of Autumn. That's good next turn. doesn't matter which we play they're both going to come into play untapped now or later oh my god no beats with the gifted sub to goalie fantastic oh you guys are fantastic um yeah we'll just play this and then we'll pass and then next turn we can probably we'll chandra and kill this lodestone golem Oh my god, I just got an email from Texas Day Brazil. I'm like, dude, don't send me emails. Come on. I'm like, I didn't, when did I sign up for this? Shut up and take my money. This one is for goalie. John one John Wickbuck. Oh, I can use that instead. Can we go we can go Shonder for five, add two, and then Mizium Mortars? Nope, can't do that. I guess we just Mike. Thanks so much for the for the John Wick buck, my dude. I guess we're just chandering because. Oh, that's not what we're doing. It's 
Let's pop that dude in the neck. Got him. I also got a little sad, but I think Modern Horizons is going to be sweet to uh, to pick up the cube slack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana, so we can play Primeval, Titan, and and uh, cut them down some mana. This costs five, huh? Yeah, we just have to get rid of their hand, right? We're not. Yeah. <sighs> trying to figure out if there's a better way to do it, right? Like, we do it for four. We have two extra mana. We can't cast anything. So, I think we're going to look at the top card first. See if it's something stupid that we just might want to play instead. It's going to be like Vraska. Elspeth? Maybe it's just Elspeth. No, not when they have... No, we're not Elspething here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, God, if they have Mana Tithe, I'm going to be... I'm going to feel so stupid. Armageddon, Angel of Sanctions, look, uh, Karn, and Doretti. Doretti Spaghetti. Yeah, so if they blow Ostone, they lose Grimmauld with Ostone, we lose Chandra Mox Emerald. That seems fine. They did not do anything. <laughs> we can fracture identity their Oblivion Stone. Look at me. I have the Oblivion Stone now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, and three. No, we're just gonna I think we're just gonna play prime time here. Play land just in case we draw something cool. If we get like Knight's Whisper, I'll be able to play it. Okay, we'll play Grave Titan instead. This should prompt uh, an Oblivion Stone. They put a counter on this guy. We're at nine? How did we get to nine? We took two off this, three off this, five off this, six off this, Oh, and Lodestone got a hit in. Hmm. All right, well, Resto is pretty scary. Now they're just going to kill us? Are they just going to kill us here? No, they're in top deck mode. Wow, they're attacking us, though. I am fascinated at everything that's happening here. Like, I'm tempted to just exile this, and then it puts them into, like, hey, you have to have it next turn. I might have forgotten to play a land, but I think it's fine. Well, they've gotten two draws. Can they deal six damage in two draws? 
I don't know what's going on here. Glory Burner, that's four damage. And they don't have another red, so that's good. And then they've conceded, so that's better. Okay. That's uh, that's how you do it. Two, two, one right now, or one, one, one right now, and we uh, we even won a match, won a game in our in the match we lost. So surprisingly, all right. Uh, they didn't use the O stone because it cost five to destroy everything. They only had four mana up. Let's play first. I'm gonna keep this. Uh, we can cast Coalition Relic. We can cast, or we can cast Terminate. If we hit any land, we can cast Coalition Relic. Uh, Mox on turn two would be pretty insane. Because that might actually be a turn four Nicol Bolas. Come on, Mox, one time. And so, sure. I also have vintage cube built, but all of my all of my power and dual lands are they're just proxied, so. Mm. We'll just play this, because next time we're gonna play Coalition Relic, but this lets us keep up terminate so we can stifle some beats if necessary. What's up, Bobby Miser? Well, that is definitely not a beat. That card's pretty good, though. Okay, so we have black. Yeah, we need one other land that produces blue or red. When do you invest in actual power and duels for a cube? Probably never. I don't think I don't think for a cube it's ever relevant. It just doesn't seem worth it. Like even if you even if you trust intimately trust the, the, the people you're drafting with, like the 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 damage that will get done to your We cannot play Bolas yet. We are one land off. I just went over that. Like, the damage, like, having to deal with all the, the shuffling and stuff. Oh, my God. I didn't put a charge counter on it. Yes, yes, I did. Okay, good. I thought I misclicked and went to the next. Now we can play Bolas. So, we want we got a red. We're going to get a blue. And then we can go black, black, black. We could also go Vraska and kill the Skull Clamp, which is probably better, to be quite honest. Yes, Relic makes two mana, but without this, we would have had one, two, three, four, five. But we have black, 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 black. I guess we would have. Yeah, because we could use these for blacks. Yeah, you're right. I'm dumb. Could have also gotten rid of the Bitter Blossom that turn, but... um. If we do that, they could still play a guy, equip Skull Clamp, and draw two more cards, which seems... Pretty rough. Well, that's also unfortunate. Now I'm feeling like we should have gotten rid of the Bitter Blossom. Hmm. Three, four, five, six. Hmm. Oh yeah, Deluge for one, killing a bunch of different tokens seems great. Um, red, blue, black, black. Why am I missing a land? Because this, because this didn't go through. Sure, black, black.
got rid of terminate. Man, between his uh, Bitter Blossom and our Mana Confluence, I wonder who's going to lose this game first. Yeah, opposition seems good. Well, they could tap two things here. Yeah, we definitely wish we got rid of that Bitter Blossom now. That seems nutty. How about Night of Autumn? That'd be great. Really? Over the Mana Confluence? Hmm. Let's add a blue. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, technically four. Could go Signet Deluge here. Could also just play Riftwing Cloudscape. Bounce the opposition, force them to replay it. But then they do get three tokens next turn, which is worse. Next turn they get three dudes. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So we have four. I think we are going to play Signet here. Play Fumarole. Well, that's good. That's 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 okay. So they get three guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So. It still lets us play Deluge next turn, which is really what we want to be doing. Oh, Christ. Never ends. Well, that was cool. Mm, don't even waste your tokens on it. Just have three three burn spells for all our planeswalkers. And we didn't coalition relic. Wow. That's tilting. Yeah, that's going to make a big difference because we could have actually played Chandra and played Deluge off of it. Yeah, that changes a lot of things. Scarab God and a Mirror Angel. Okay, that's actually insane. Now we're going to Deluge, because they can deal with four things. We'll have four mana left over, so. Mm-hmm. 
one more. Let's go black. Had counter now to be safe. Now nah, we're good. I was just tilted by the uh, lightning helix burst lightning play, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. I'm actually feeling good about this uh, blood braid elf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. This is six. Chandra, add two, get a green, get a thing, Bloodbraid Elf, what are we hitting? Sure, kill this idiot. Well, they have no cards in hand, so I think we're actually doing quite well here. Yeah, we're definitely tucking the opposition or the bitter blossom. Tapping blood to breed elf. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a ton of mana. <laughs> Let's get a blue, I guess. Bribery? Xenagos. <laughs> That's a good one. One, two. Uh, we're going to want a white and a blue. Three, four. The problem with tucking something here is that we do lose the Teferi. Oh, they just concede. Seems good. I guess it doesn't matter if we took the Tefri or not. All right. Negate seems insane. Take out the Bloodbraid Elf again because I don't want to bring in Negate and uh, have Bloodbraid Elf to Bloodbraid Elf into it. Seems bad. He may have a future in this whole magic thing. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I wish I had more ways to deal with oppositions and bitter blossoms, but I think we're fine. Like, we have Vraska. We have Night of Autumn, which we didn't see. We have Negate. I almost like Animate Dead because they have... Well, that was loud. Because they have uh, Scarab God. Crazy little thing called love. Yeah, Deluge 
like pays one life and kills all fairy tokens. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Any red or green source, a taiga would be just gas. Still good. You got it. Take a gander at mine hander. Can you please remove Toxic Deluge from your hand? Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're having a good time. We're having a good time. This is going to be a Taiga. So we're going to hold on to that. I wonder what they have. Do they have Bitter Blossom again? I mean, I want them to remove Bitter Blossom from their hand. But if they have Bitter Blossom, they would rather a Scare of Night of Autumn, right? Godless Shrine. I don't want to play this yet because we don't have a real way to... Uh... Yeah, we're just going to play this here. And then we'll Xenagoose next turn, maybe. It's been a slow game. Gotta steal to eat, gotta eat to live. Tell you when I have the time. One jump ahead of a tiger, two jumps ahead of a tiger, three jumps ahead of a tiger. That's everything. This is an Aladdin mashup I'm doing here. This guy resolves. That was unexpected. Well, we still got a creature out of it, buddy. Joke's on you, pal. Did you see the new Aladdin? I have not seen the new Aladdin yet. I'm not. I'm not against it. I just haven't seen it yet. Here comes Scarab God, and then we fracture identity of that dude, and it's like, oh god, ominous. See, now I'm in, a, I'm in a situation where I wish I knew what cards they had seen. I forgot. I forgot the cards they saw. Well, they're thinking. They're thinking about doing something. Now they're changing your mind. They're really, they're really thinking about it here. Oh, hold up. Uh, I just was a mono green player. I wanted to apologize that you thought I was sniping when I recognize a streamer on NTGO and a non-competitive viral. I'll sometimes go to their stream and pause. So I can rewatch after and enjoy the commentary from my opponent's perspective. I didn't. I don't think any of my players would have led you to believe I knew the contents of your hand or deck, but I can see how you would look bad seeing me in the chat. I enjoy your content. Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome. So earlier, done. Dismissed. Then it was a scarab god. Hey, it was a scarab god. Ew, Sabalba. Okay, let's just get rid of it. <laughs> get a little tucky. Good guy opponent is right, man. That's great. That makes me feel good. How about this week we go see John Wick and then do the old sneakeroo and duel? Into Aladdin, oh, a couple of a bunch of grown men sneaking into Aladdin after watching a movie. They're like, hey, hey, hey. 
they'll never see this one coming. <laughs> They said, uh, no problem. I never really considered how it would make the streamer feel. I'll just watch on replay after the stream is ended next time. Thanks for your feedback. Well, whenever I see the opponent in chat. Yeah, whenever I see the opponent in chat, I just become hyper vigilant and suspicious of play and, of suspicious plays, and it just makes me feel like I have to remain on guard. No worries at all. Uh, I sincerely appreciate the explanation and totally understand. All right, cool. That is great. That's a that's a positive. That's a wholesome interaction right there. But I think he's rather tasty. <laughs> Tell him he's got a free gift sub waiting when he comes back. Tell him chat says hi. I said, chat says hi, and that you have a free gift sub waiting if you come back. <laughs> Good times, man. All right, let's get let's let's get this on. Let's move. Let's get this train moving. Guys, I'm going to be honest. Based on our hand, I feel like we're in good shape here. He said, okay. He's like, okay. And he said, well, to be fair, I think you were right to be suspicious most of the time. Yeah, nice. Let's just make a thing here. Putting putting uh, Vraska up to eight uh, when they have, when, when they've, when they have shown, uh-oh, when they have shown things like, yes, all right, that thing's gone. When they have shown things like burst lightning, lightning helix, and lightning strike, dismember our gentleman. Uh, let's have the blue and this this guy. I guess that doesn't matter. We don't have anything to play. But I think he's rather tasty. Gonna draw a card. Draw draw a card. Good games. Good games. Yeah, I think we're way ahead here. I like we're gonna we got two planeswalkers. We can easily kill this with either this or this. Wow, the the old two one with this ridiculous deck. To those watching on YouTube, I definitely apologize for for playing four basic lands instead of two basic lands. But Super Fritz is okay with it, so I'm glad he's okay with it. I think that deck was sweet. Uh, I think it didn't have as many mana problems as I thought it would. And uh, Mind Twist is not a fair card. Definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And check out ManaTraders.com where you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the promo code and the link in my description. Check those services out. They are awesome. Check me out at Twitch, Patreon, all the things. And I'll see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.